everyday English expressions. Point out. To show, to indicate, to bring to one's attention. 1. What important buildings did the tour guide point out to you? 2. The teacher pointed out the mistakes in my composition. 3. A friend pointed the famous actor out to me. 2. Be up. To expire, to be finished. This idiom is used only with the word time as the subject. 1. The time is up, the teacher said at the end of the test period. 2. We have to leave the tennis court because our hour is up. Some other people want to use it now. 3. Be over. To be finished, to end. Also, to be through, this idiom is used for activities and events. 1. After the dance was over, we all went to a restaurant. 2. The meeting was through 10 minutes earlier than everyone expected. 4. On time. Exactly at the correct time, punctually. 1. I thought that Margaret would arrive late, but she was right on time. 2. Did you get to work on time this morning, or did rush hour traffic delay you? 5. In time to. Before the time necessary to do something. 1. We entered the theater just in time to see the beginning of the movie. 2. The truck was not able to stop in time to prevent an accident. 6. Get better, get worse, etc. To become better, worse, etc. 1. Heather has been sick for a month, but now she is getting better. 2. This medicine isn't helping me. Instead of getting better, I'm getting worse. 7. Get sick, get well, get tired, get busy, get wet, etc. To become sick, well, tired, busy, wet, etc. This idiom consists of a combination of get and various adjectives. 1. Gerald got sick last week and has been in bed since that time. 2. Every afternoon I get very hungry, so I eat a snack. 8. Had better. Should, ought to, be advisable to. This idiom is most often used in contracted form I'd better. 1. I think you'd better speak to Mr. White right away about this matter. 2. The doctor told the patient that he'd better go home and rest. 9. Would rather. Prefer to, also, would just as soon. 1. Would you rather have the appointment this Friday or next Monday? 2. I would just as soon go for a walk as watch TV right now. 10. Call it a day, call it a night. To stop working for the rest of the day or night. 1. Herb tried to repair his car engine all morning before he called it a day and went fishing. 2. We've been working hard on this project all evening. Let's call it a night. 11. Figure out. To solve, to find a solution. To understand. 1. How long did it take you to figure out the answer to the math problem? 2. I was never able to figure it out. 12. Think of. To have a good or bad opinion of. This idiom is often used in the negative or with adjectives such as much and highly. 1. I don't think much of him as a baseball player. He's a slow runner and a poor hitter. 2. James thinks highly of his new boss who is a kind and helpful person. 1. Be about to. To be at the moment of doing something, to be ready. This idiom is often sued with the adverb just. 1. I was just about to leave when you telephoned. 2. Oh, hi, John. We're just about to eat dinner. 
two. Turn around. To move or face in the opposite direction. To completely change the condition of. One. The man turned his car around and drove back the way he came. Two. The company has been very successful since the new business manager was able to turn it around. Three. Take turns. To alternate. To change people while doing something. One. During the trip, Darlene and I took turns driving so that neither of us would tire out. Two. I have to make sure that my two sons take turns playing the video game. Four. Pay attention. Pay attention to. To look at and listen to someone while they are speaking. To concentrate. One. Please pay attention to me while I'm speaking to you. Two, you'll have to pay more attention in class if you want to get a good grade. Five, brush up on. To review something in order to refresh one's memory. One, before I traveled to Mexico, I brushed up on my Spanish. I haven't practiced it since high school. Two, in order to take that advanced mathematics class. Sydney will have to brush up on his algebra. Six, over and over, over and over again, repeatedly, also, time after time, time and again. One, the actress studied her lines in the movie over and over until she knew them well. Two, children have difficulty remembering rules, so it's often necessary to repeat them over and over again. Three, time and again, I have to remind Bobby to put on his seatbelt in the car. Seven, wear out to use something until it has no value or worth any more to make useless through wear. One, when I wear out these shoes, I'll have to buy some that last longer. Two, what do you do with your clothes after you wear them out? Eight. Throw away to discard to dispose of. One, I generally throw away my clothes when I wear them out. Two, don't throw the magazines away. I haven't read them yet. Nine, fall in love to begin to love. This idiom is used with the expression at first sight to indicate a sudden interest in love. One, Ben and Sal fell in love in high school. And got married after graduation. Two, have you ever fallen in love at first sight? Ten, go out to stop functioning, to stop burning, to leave home or work. Also, to step out. One, the lights went out all over the city because of an electrical problem. Two, the campers didn't have to put out the fire because it went out by itself. Three. Gary isn't here right now. He went out to the store for a moment. Four. I have to step out of the office briefly to pick up a newspaper. Eleven. Out of the question. Impossible. Not feasible. One. Stephen told Deborah that it was out of the question for her to borrow his new car. Two. Don't expect me to do that again. It's absolutely out of the question. Twelve, have to do with to have some connection with or relationship to. One, Ralph insisted that he had nothing to do with breaking the window. Two, what does your suggestion have to do with our problem? One, wake up to rise from sleep to awaken. One. Marge woke up this morning very early, but she did not get up until about ten o'clock. Two, my alarm clock wakes me up at the same time every day. Two, be in charge of to manage to have responsibility for. One, Jane is in charge of the office while Mrs. Haig is on a business trip. Two, who is in charge of arrangements for the dance next week? Three, as soon as, just after, when.
One. As soon as it started to snow, the children ran outside with big smiles on their faces. Two. I'm busy now, but I'll meet you as soon as I've finished this work. Four. Get in touch with. To communicate with. To contact. One. You can get in touch with him by calling the Burma Hotel. Two. I've been trying all morning to get in touch with Miss Peters, but her phone is always busy. Five. Have a good time. To enjoy oneself. One. We all had a good time at the class reunion last night. Two. Did you have a good time at the park? I really enjoyed it. Six. In no time. Very quickly. Rapidly. This idiom can be used with the idiom at all to add emphasis to the certainty of the statement. 1. Max said that he'd be ready to leave in no time. 2. We thought that the meeting would take two hours, but it was over in no time at all. 7. Cut down on. To reduce, to lessen also, to cut back on. 1. In order to lose weight, you have to cut down on your intake of sugar. 2. The doctor told me to cut back on exercise until my back injury heals. 8. Quite a few. Many. 1. Quite a few students were absent yesterday. In fact, more than half of them were not there. 2. We did not expect many people to attend the affair, but quite a few of our friends actually came. 9. Used to. Formerly did, had the habit of. This idiom is used to indicate a past situation, action, or habit that does not exist in the present. The idiom is always followed by a simple verb form. 1. I used to live in New York, but I moved to California two years ago. 2. Kim used to smoke cigarettes, but she stopped the habit last month. 10. Be used to. Be accustomed to. This idiom refers to a situation, action, or habit that continues in the present. The idiom is always followed by a noun or gerund phrase. 1. He is used to this climate now, so the changes in temperature do not affect him much. 2. I am used to studying in the library, so it's difficult for me to study at home now. 11. Get used to. To become used to, to become adjusted to. This idiom describes the process of change that allows someone to be used to a situation, action, or habit. 1. It took Yoshiko a long time to get used to the food that her American host family served her. 2. Mark can't seem to get used to wearing contact lenses. Recently, he's been wearing his glasses a lot. 12. Back and forth. In a backward and forward motion. 1. The restless lion kept pacing back and forth along the front of its cage. 2. Grandmother finds it relaxing to sit in her rocking chair and move back and forth.